every single one of them said that they liked it. Obviously, I didn't watch every video on the freaking planet, okay? Calm down. Inazuma 11 Victory Road. I still haven't played it, but let me tell you something. I've been seeing gameplays after gameplays after gameplays. After this video is going to be more dedicated to the people that have been playing the game and also enjoying it okay even the people that I haven't been enjoying i only found one person that wasn't actually enjoying it because i've been seeing some youtube videos okay i saw the good i saw the bad i saw pretty much everything there was a person that pretty much made a video on talking about the specific bad part of the actual in 11 victory road so let's listen to it a little bit by the, the way uh go follow this man because if you do like inazuma 11 content he basically provides you that i don't so go to him i guess <laughs> i feel like some of the gameplay mechanics are awkward clunky and outright just don't make sense uh that part i do i haven't even played so <laughs> like my take on this game is not is gonna be literally surface level but at the same time Every day, I do watch multiple live streams, like five hour plus live streams. Not just, not one only, like multiple of them. I've been watching this game religiously, pretty much. And I have been seeing different gameplays, like certain issues that some people complain. I see other people play it and they don't have that type of issue. Or they basically complain about a mechanic. And I see other people basically using the same mechanics, but actually having more knowledge of that mechanic. So they play a lot better than other people so because i seen so many different i seen more than 20 people more than 20 different people playing this game majority of them some of them have the same experience when they started the game and some of them already had an amazing experience and basically learning also new things like the focus shows were always a big game of numbers to me in prior games there's only one focus though that i uh, that i don't uh that i think that they should remove or a uh, uh, upgrade which so, is you know, not this one block highest start always won that kind of thing but in this it, nothing really seems to work for me like uh, if i'm playing against a level five and he's dribbling past me or even if it's like level 30 dribbling past me uh, it's always the same result they win <laughs> hey I also want to play once I once I actually get the game. I do want to play a level one team against a thirty, but I have to have a crap ton of knowledge base on the game. Let's say League of Legends, right? Even if Faker was in level one, okay? Well, level one, okay. If Faker was level six in League of Legends and he basically were battling somebody that was level sixteen. How high can the levels actually go on League of Legends? I forgot. For my memory's sake, let's say 18, right? Faker can still crap on you, depending on the champion that he's using. He can still crap on you despite all the levels. It basically more relevant to the items that you're basically using. But let's say in this game, you can actually outskill your opponent. Here, I want to play the game to actually feel that. I still don't have the game, so I have to see other people play it. I haven't seen somebody going through like a level one against a level 30 or 20, which is still ridiculous, uh, or 15, that is also ridiculous, um, being able to surpass uh, them through skill. Whether it's a bot, because the bots in this game are actually freaking furious. They, they're pretty strong, the bots in this game. Things simple because uh, this isn't simple. This is uh, quite frankly the complete opposite of uh, simple and there's far too much going on. Uh, that is true in terms of like the gameplay but that's not even the major problem with the gameplay for me uh, there's something far more potent uh, with that being the breach system essentially what breach is for those who don't know is that the when the game starts there's a 10 percent chance <laughs> the 10 percent is crazy out of this freaking world why did i do that <laughs> like the thing is I would have preferred if Breach existed but differently or remove it from online matches. Just because online matches is sick. The majority of the teams that I've been seeing are just Breach teams. To be fair, there's not much creativity within the beta. There's not, not much that you can work with. I'm not saying remove the, comp the entire system. Let's say you can play Breach on story mode or playing with a bot or something like but a competitive because you're saying level five wants to make this game competitive right esport okay esport we can't be using percentages that literally make you lose the whole game you can even say if you're truly skilled 
and if your opponent team is only playing uh, like a breach team you can counter him by playing with more skill by not allowing the enemy team to even get close to your field that could be one thing because i'm also this is the biggest problem that i have doing th this type of uh it's not a review it's just more no nah, let's talk with you guys but uh, this is the problem that i have that not having the game be because i want to test this goal, which sounds awful i've only been seeing people play like uh, uh, well, at some point i want to touch the game okay uh, it should be removed completely from the beta and if not the beta the full release at a minimum because it's a feature that can be abused and will hinder a ton of players from enjoying the game now that i've covered the gameplay i think we should take a break from that to be fair i haven't seen people well everybody complains about beach i'm not gonna lie <laughs> i think everybody also does say that it needs to be changed and uh there was there was already an update talking about breach but it's not like they removed it or they made it like more impossible to actually happen like if breach was zero zero one percent like a gacha game i would actually accept that you know why because if it happened it would have been amazing but breach is so common and there shouldn't be a percentage to hire that if it was like a percentage where it was like in a gacha game that would have been amazing like zero point something percent like a really low number and if it happens in the game the amount of excitement that you would have when that happens like an all-out brawl you would throw yourself at the ground like the excitement would be amazing it's like if you ever played a gacha game like when you get it like a character that you are trying so hard to get and when you get it it is rewarding when it comes to like the serotonin and all that stuff but i just realized this is two minutes how many minutes have i been talking 40 oh my god this is gonna get else. speed like, up offer starting with a shop and i hope it's just a beta feature and not Okay, uh, the shop here, he basically talks about the fact that this cannot just be a feature for uh, the whole game because it takes too long to get all of these items and all that. And uh, there's not much components. So obviously, the components doesn't matter because this is a beta. But it's how often you get these items, which one of them you can only get if you basically play online matches, which I think that's fair because this is this is supposed to be an online based game not more on the story mode it's more it is supposed to be esports it's like let's say tekken yeah there we go tekken and in, in tekken you're not going to be playing only the story mode right or playing only with the bots that <laughs> that game is not for that like that game is just for going pvp a straight pvp 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 you get um people who well, ignore the story, ignore Chronicle mode, ignore all that, and they just play online. They'll then get like a, a head start and a lead, and then when everyone else comes from those modes, it's going to be like very unfair because they're going to have such a high advantage. Over I would accept if you put within ranks, just because within levels, I believe that the amount of players that will be playing around that time, finding somebody around your level, it's going to be harder than finding someone at your rank right so if you put it somebody at the same rank that would be okay if you're just lower level then okay gg i guess but same rank at least but they're not even doing that they just play whatever you want which you could say that they're trying to make you practice against higher levels with your low level so that you can match the game more scale i don't know i don't make the rules i follow them have these level no i don't actually set. because i don't have that freaking now we get onto the main issue that i've been seeing everywhere and uh, whole issues that me and my mate even encountered on day one of course being the online and how horrible it's been over the past week with the unbalanced matchmaking and the connections of the game being oh yeah the connections is also freaking quite crappy i'm not gonna lie um well it's crappy when it comes to like battling certain people but like the connections uh, i wanted to talk about also the connections but at the same time i don't have an issue with the connections right now just because this is a a nintendo which famous to not have the greatest freaking internet that's why i'm not too keen on the lag output just because i seen way more positives in terms of like the lag if you're battling, battling somebody in your country or close to your country or somebody that is english or whatever the heck you can actually have a really good game without having any like spikes Probably one or two, but, you know, pretty smooth. And I'm starting to wonder what's going on at the level 5 HQ for them not having 
like from not having anything done for it, but still working steadily on the game for like what feels like 20 years at this point is really mind boggling to me. I was wanting this game to feel amazing, but what we got was a game that just doesn't feel like Inazuma in the slightest at the moment, and it's really that is really also understandable for me. Really hoping that these future updates that we've been promised actually fix the majority of the issues that I've presented. By the way, okay, uh, the Ringtail Guardian, I, my guy, um, sorry, I guess I, I don't know how to pronounce anything. Like, let me be honest. But his arguments are all fair. Just because this is a complete, this is this is literally a 180 from every other game of the Indism 11. So if you don't enjoy the game because it of the discrepancy of the actual original game, it's 100% fair, okay? It's 100% fair. Now we're gonna watch, uh, let me read his name because I'm gonna butcher it. Globku. This is where I'm gonna start basically showing YouTubers that played Indism 11 for the first time. Now, these are the people that I want their opinions the most, not the people that have been playing the game for years and know Inazuma 11 for years and have the whole channel based on Inazuma 11 or already made videos of Inazuma 11. In this case, also my opinion, my opinion is trash, okay? Because I'm gonna be biased. That's why I'm only watching these videos and I give my own opinion just be, I'm just basing my opinion based on their suggestions. Now, Globku just started playing. This is the first Inazuma 11 game that he basically started. And he is... Been a long you're gonna time watch coming, it. But it sounds like Not really. Uh, this, is this is gonna be fast, okay? Like, th this video is literally 19 minutes and already... I, 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 yeah, th th my videos are almost 30 minutes already. After playing this for a couple of games, I gotta say, I am loving how complex this is. It seems to have... Oh, I just saw what I didn't see in the other video. This. This... Mm, this 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 is uh this is madness like the only battle focus that i really 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 enjoy is the one that you basically start to you know skedaddle within the gaps the, that that is the I'm one that i how complex this is perfect. it seems to have a lot of depth because that i want to explore and the that one comes is the only the one where that you can, you can actually and he even has bypass spectator slots so today even we're gonna play a if full you're game a low level who has been grinding this game like hell and we'll explain how it all works yeah. as we go okay. there we go like that is pretty much you being level one or fighting a level 30 you will always have the chance to actually bypass that now if you're doing that <laughs> on the other focus match with a level 30 chances are you have no chance period okay so but at least that you have kind of an rpg does ranked matches take the level into consideration yes and, in and also the person that he's playing against is another youtuber that i actually wanted because i've been watching a lot of his videos as well so i've been also watching uh biscuit biscuit yes i've been watching his videos as well uh the live streams of inazuma 11 since the very beginning i watched this one i watched this one i watched pretty much every single one of them like i said i've been going i've been binging binge watching a lot of inazuma 11 content just to understand a little bit uh everyone's case and especially people that never played it i watched this video mostly because he never played inazuma 11 and he you can clearly see he's really enjoying it which his opinion and globku's opinion are really 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 uh no, so necessary awesome. to me okay. just because <laughs> it could be a gold rank and you go up against a bronze rank as their first match bro that's that's almost like the opposite of what should be right because casual matches it sets your level to the same but ranked mm -hmm. matches are like nah you can have the unfair advantages man <laughs> you've been grinding this true I've, I've seen you live stream this like all weekend long i've been enjoying it yes it's, it's been frustrating but obviously being from the uk Oh yeah, <laughs> I've been. <laughs> he, he, yeah, he sometimes gets uh, iffy with a good reason. Okay, this is all with a good reason. But he's enjoying the game, which is the most important part. Okay, because everybody that is new to the franchise and playing this game, I haven't seen a single one of them say that they didn't enjoy the game or they wouldn't recommend it or they wouldn't continue playing it. Every single one of them said that they liked it. Obviously, I didn't watch every video on the freaking planet, okay? Calm down. You may have. I haven't, okay? If you have, please send it to me. I want to watch it so to understand their point of view so that we can make this game better. Maybe, it, it, maybe it's impossible to make it better, okay? But I want this game to be global, okay? That's why I want the opinions of people that don't 
play this game or ever played or never ever heard of Inazuma 11 okay because this game is about to go on not about to but the intention is to go to e sports level in order to do that we uh, there's no chance this game to go on esports with just the fan base of Inazuma 11 impossible okay the fan base of Inazuma 11 cannot carry this game for crap me wanting to hear people that aren't Inazuma 11 fans that is crucial extremely crucial for the game for the future of the game because the game cannot survive with just Inazuma 11 fans it's not going to survive neither do I was more of a Tsubasa guy exactly so they don't know anything which I love it and they both enjoyed it that's what I like I clap for that but obviously I'm not biased okay let's calm down I'm not biased okay that's why I went to the to the bad one first because that was the only bad take not bad take that wasn't a bad take that was that was really obvious points and crucial points that he actually pointed out uh but that was the one that the most negative experience from the game that i saw so i had to go there first and i needed to watch it uh which i understand his point of view it's actually quite fair and he's right on some parts and the other parts are just based on his experience which i can't say it's wrong or right <laughs> it's based on his experience so it's like I played, it's like I played a uh, tic tac toe, and I loved the game. And then he played tic tac toe, and he hated the game. Like, it's it's not about the game at that point. It's just about the the experience that somebody has and somebody doesn't. It's just the experience uh, that uh, are preset for your team. But then uh, you press next, and but he did is say why he did because you know yes. this game is completely Some of them different. Are way more powerful than others. Love it. The randomness begins. You got like keeper in invincibility. Mm. Uh, you got breaching goalkeepers. Like, yeah, <laughs> some crazy stuff going on there. Oh, yeah, you're playing a team of aliens. Yeah, th that's how ridiculous this goes. <laughs> yeah. I don't Invincible know goalkeeper for a tactic, I do. Well, it I is quite fair. The oh, tactics, okay. I would say, they were balanced. Yeah, I went the wrong way immediately. Can I just. No, switch to the right player. Dude, every single football game ever. No. Players. I'm there. Way, way. I was. Also, for the <laughs> this man just used it. <laughs> did he score though? I can't believe you've done that. <laughs> oh yeah, he did actually. <laughs> but um, that what you just saw there, I don't know if it's a glitch. Everybody says that it's a glitch, right? That shouldn't be in the game. There's an easy way to stop this, which is basically pressing the focus button. If you didn't know, now you know. Now, did they left it in the game so that you can score? normally i don't think so just because how easy it is wait, to I'm score wait, just look at this wait. I, was I can't believe mark had no chance <laughs> mark had no chance because on the update they didn't mention this <laughs> on the update they did not mention this theoretically this is supposed to be in the game because they would have tackled this right away like why would they why would they not that, that's crazy i would just say it's in the game so whenever you see somebody do this just press focus okay just press focus so that you don't get destroyed i seen a lot of people basically miss this obviously it's not that it is simple actually once you understand something it is super simple Never. so no he didn't press any button to be fair <laughs> that's why he couldn't because most people think that you just need to be within these arms and then you will stop him no matter what uh not really you're not he's gonna speed pass through you right away that's why i said that on this focus battle level one can be the level 30 this is why because it's not a game of it's more a game of predicting your opponent and tricking your opponent so if your opponent let's say is uh um, i'm there what? let's say if your opponent right is single football game ever if he the moment that he does that right it's already too late you should already been pressed the bun the b bun to basically block right now it's already too late he already gonna be passing you if he did that he would have stopped him uh or if you step like uh jump a little bit and if you're actually in the center of his attack then you'll be able to take the ball but you have to literally be face to face to him 
to basically take the ball. But there's also another way. I figure, figured it out by just watching many gameplays and then I basically, I, you can see pretty much people pressing no, the buttons uh, down here. Way, so I noticed way. how was, people are pressing. I can't believe it. <laughs> Jesus. It show you that you could just run in someone's goal like that. Yeah. Like that, and I learned how to basically trick people. Uh, there we go. Yeah. See? But guess what? You just bypass it by passing the ball towards goal. That one was actually pretty easy because, like I said, he basically just used a step to be really right center to him and then steal the ball. He didn't need to press the defense. The defense is only if you're basically are in links within the arm and it needs to be timed once he's actually trying to pass through. Once he's trying to pass through, click the defense and then you will get him. Sometimes you would think that, oh, he shouldn't be passing me because I was clicking on the defense button. But guess what? You press the A button first to go near him, which stops you from basically going with the action of, of the B button, which doesn't actually process the B button. It only stays. It's still processing the A button. So your B button doesn't actually recognize and he basically passes through you. That's the best way that I figure it out to trick people and when you're trying to pass them. Defense so, uh, mechanic. There's that. Guess what? You just bypass it by pass. Still haven't played the game, by the way. Yep. That's absolutely ridiculous. Yeah. Where are you going, man? Are you getting closer? Are you getting oh, you closer? can pass. Okay. I'm going past you. That's where I'm going. Nice. Okay. And by pass, oh, I don't mean actually oh, oh. passing. Oh, uh, I mean zoning. actually passing the ball. How about I just shoot? You ain't getting past me, bro. Oh. Tension. This is Royal Lance. My keeper's Sir. Like. Ooh. I don't know if you've seen what my keeper looks like. But I'm about to show you. What? Where'd the ball go? <laughs> oh! I've actually never seen that before. That's actually pretty sick. <laughs> okay, that would be it. And now I'm just going to go on to the most famous YouTubers of Innocent 11. That would be... To By the way, I just want to say your name. Day. Tom? I thought that now would be a good time to yeah, give you guys my genuine, honest thoughts on the beta. And his genuine thoughts are re are obviously crucial because he is a pioneer of the Innocent 11 franchise, obviously. And there was another person that... Tail. Yeah, Tail. Is that how you say it? Brother, I'm going to put every single one of these YouTubers on the link, okay? Like, their YouTube channels, their names, everything is going to be in the link, okay? Uh, they all make great content, okay? But I watch every single live stream of Tom as well. I've been there live and out of live. I didn't say anything on the chat, but yeah, I was there, by the way. Next time, I will say something. <laughs> Next time, I will say something. My bad. <laughs> uh, Biscuit, I was also there as well. Is it B Biscuit? Biscuit? I was also on your chat, man. Uh, but yeah, next time I will actually try to say hi on all of you guys' chat. And I just freaking linger there, I guess. Generally speaking, everybody's enjoying the game. Everybody that I mentioned on this video, I'm playing with you guys. I'm playing with everybody. I am competitive when it comes to and when I need to. And I have to end the video because it's already 40 minutes by.